Hey guys, welcome back out to the shop. Uh, today we're just going to work on a really simple project. Um, you ever bought anything from the home and garden store, hanging plant, hanging light for your porch, and it comes with a chunk of chain, looks like that. It's ugly. I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to make something really simple, nice little decorative chain. What we need is some eighth inch rod. This either comes on like political signs, I get my stuff from paint booth filters from my local body shop. I just tear the fabric off of it, it's usually a 3 by 2 filter um, and then these are in a grid pattern underneath. They're just resistance welded together so I just take a pair of pliers, snap them apart and I get, you know, long pieces of it. So what we're going to need is we're going to need 6 5 inch pieces of this stuff. Not a lot of forging going on here, just some simple heating and bending, so we need a heat source, a couple pairs of pliers, and um, I guess a bending jig of some sort, a couple 3 8 rods, uh, just to clamp in the vise, and uh, you can make this decorative chain real easy. So let's get to it. Alright, so first thing we need to do is we need to measure out, we need to measure out 5 inches. You can do this with a tape. And then we'll just take a set of side cutters. Just regular side cutters. You can use bolt cutters if you want or a bandsaw or whatever if you feel the need. This is this takes a little bit of pressure so you gotta have some pretty good hand strength. Uh, measurement really isn't super critical. I'm gonna use my leg. But it needs to be at least five inches long. So now you could take and heat this up and um, forge a taper in it if you wanted to. That just seems like a lot of work to me. Uh, safety glasses. So I'm just going to take this over to my bench grinder. Hold it on a fairly steep angle. Tuck it in my grill. And what I end up with is two tapers. Alright, so I got my six pieces here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my map gas torch. I've seen this before. A couple of fire bricks just to set it up against and try and retain some of that heat. And then I'll just heat the ends up. And I'm going to scroll those. With the pair of pliers that we had from the horseshoe nail video. This is a lot of fooling around, it takes a little bit of time, but I'll heat each end up, so i got to do this 12 times. Alright, so we do that 12 times, we bend one one way, one the other way.
All right, so you end up with six of these. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna focus in on this little bending jig over here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up this portion here, bend it, turn it around, heat up this portion. So basically we're making just an S hook. But we're making a tight S hook. So we're going to end up with six of these. Now just because they're closed, that's okay, don't worry about that. We'll deal with that in a minute. Alright, so now we got, uh, got our hooks together. Now we need to run over to the anvil and just flatten them down a bit. So we're just going to take a fairly wide faced hammer and just give them a few blows. Alright, so now what you end up with is a nice little hook it's flat on the sides but rounded on the ends so now we need to fire our torch up again and now we're going to start putting them together so we're going to link them up like this now don't worry about that being open because what we need to do now is we're just going to take our needle nose pliers stick them in here pinch it and let me show that and just heat up this little edge and you'll see that it'll close up and once we get that closed up we'll quench it and then it'll stay there So now you can see that that's closed up and we'll just close up each link as we keep going until we get a chain made. So now, what you end up with is S-hooks hooked together to form a chain. And each one of these links is about 2 inches, so that'll give you 12 inches of chain. So now I'm going to run this over to the wire wheel real quick. I'm going to wire wheel it, and then I'm going to heat it all up and dip it a couple times in some linseed oil just to give it a nice black coating. This is good as it is. You could take and just wipe it off with some uh, mineral spirits or something and then just paint it and that would be fine too and you could have white or black or gray or red or whatever so I'll be back with the finished product all right it's a real simple comparison this is your new decorative chain 
this is your standard old garden variety chain. Lots better. Alright, so pretty simple little project. Now I know it's time consuming, uh, but what project isn't? <laughs> so in about a half an hour, you know, you can make, as long as you get your process set up just right, you can you can make this 12 inches of chain or whatever to hang whatever garden variety light that you're looking for. Um, so now you're probably wondering how strong it is. It's pretty strong. All right, so there's my chainsaw in the case. Got it hooked up here, and I'm just going to lift it by hand. So it weighs about 30 pounds in the case, full of fuel. So that chain's plenty strong enough. You won't have any issues with it. Now, be smart with what you're holding this with. You know, just because it'll hold 30 pounds doesn't mean it'll hold a dynamic 30 pounds. But it'll hold a garden light, no problem. It'll hold wind chimes, all that sort of stuff. Anyways, give it one of these, but thing, subscribe, shoot a comment if you like it, and uh, we'll catch you all for the next one. Thanks for watching.